And the manager of a California restaurant where a customer's receipt showed a $30.95 seen rat discount. A what? The woman spotted a rat near her feet at Fats Asian Bistro. <laughs> And reported it to the staff. That sounds the wo- like the kind of place you'd see a rat at fast. <laughs> the woman believed she would be speaking to a manager, but instead was handed a receipt by her server with $30.95 knocked off the bill for seeing rat. If you have a seeing rat discount, <laughs> that could be a problem. <laughs> seeing rat, and it's in quotes. Oh, I bet people have some stories about horror stories about restaurants. All right, we were up on a fishing trip up next to our walker. And uh, in the bathroom, it was like somebody had flooded it with poop. (laughs) (laughs) I'm always so hungry this time of the night. I'd like to thank you for suppressing my appetite for another couple of hours till I can get home. You've helped a lot of dieters. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Hey, Tom, you got a restaurant FML? Turtle Lake, Wisconsin, softball tournament. Sunday morning, championship round. We go to this restaurant, and we're waiting for our food. So one guy couldn't wait, so he ordered a strawberry malt. He gets halfway through it and found, da a Band-Aid. <laughs> In the <laughs> malt. <laughs> Very quickly, we got our food. It looked like that rubber vomit stuff you throw out at people, you know? <laughs> so we ate it, and by the first game that day, we were all sick. Some guys were throwing up. Yeah. And a couple of us went back that night with baseball bats. Looking for the cook, but he was already gone for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Zepp and Terry, who's calling and tell us your restaurant FML? Uh, a friend of mine is a cardiologist, and I was uh, working with him with postal but open heart surgery patients. It was he had this favorite Chinese restaurant he'd go to. He came back from lunch one day, and he said that the cook came out to him and said, "Look." I got this itching thing in this broken English. She said, I got this itching thing down here. So my buddy ever, uh, the professional, he went to look. Guy's crotch was full of lice. Oh! <laughs> right out of the kitchen. I would be walking right out of the restaurant. Oh! Troy, you got a restaurant FML for us? Yeah, you know, you want a gross. I don't know if this is gross. I didn't think it was, but I'm retired law enforcement. Thank you for your service. No problem. One night we get a call out of a medical at one of our local restaurants, and I was like a block away, so I was close. I get to the restaurant, and here's this young kid. They have him back in the kitchen area in the sink. Uh, Come to find out what had happened was he was cleaning up for the night and jumped off the counter after he was doing a bunch of cleaning, (laughs) not realizing that they put a big tub of boiling grease (gasps) right below the counter. (laughs) <laughs> and he was standing knee deep in boiling grease. Oh yeah. my God! By the time I got there, all the all the skin from his knees was piled up down around his ankles, and he was oh. trying to pick the skin back up. <clears throat> my stomach just quit growling. Thank you, officer. That was gross. Thank you so much for checking out our highlight reel. To hear more of what probably should have been left on the cutting room floor, head to 92kqrs.com, hover over the On Demand tab, and click Zepp and Terry.